Ah, what a beautiful day in Nez Perce Valley. Well, what's going on, boys and girls? I am back in black. Um, I have not been uploading YouTube videos uh, lately just because I have been busy. I've been in the fire academy and, yeah, been really busy with that. And I've, I'm, I'm almost done. This week is spring break, so finally got some time in here to put out a video and yeah we'll see what happens uh what we're gonna do today is we're gonna hunt some mule deer um got the good old two two three no wait what do i have 243 so we've got the 243 we're gonna go on a classic good old mule deer hunt maybe kill some whitetails as well but yeah basically gonna be taking out the same gun that i used to kill my first deer when I was a young lad. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I've still got it, dude. I haven't played this game, like I said, in months. And so hopefully I'll be able to place a good shot. I hope so, because I just put in for the hunt. And uh, if I'm rusty on the game, who's to say I won't be rusty... IRL. I haven't shot a gun in about four months either. Three, four months. I guess as soon as that uh, two-star mature pops his head over that little hill, we're going to have to take him. I don't see what else is calling besides that two-star adult, and I'm not going to shoot him. Holy shit, apparently a lot of stuff, dude. So two-star mature... One-star adult... So we've got four bucks calling total, but I don't know that two star mature. I think that's who we're gonna have to take. He's looking a little lopsided. So I don't think it'll be that bad of a choice here. Let's see if we can't slide in a shot right here. Should be a good shot. Come on, Buck. Yeah, that should do it. Yeah, this guy definitely has a little more of a brown face. 74% though. Not bad. So, when I called out that he was pretty <laughs> lopsided, you can see what I was talking about. Definitely lopsided. That made me think that it was okay to take the shot. Because sometimes in Diamond Drill you see them bucks with them brown faces like this guy. and They're still pretty young. And I've killed a, I think a 92 percenter that way. So yeah, I'm always kind of careful. But this time it paid off. Oh shit. All right, well, we've got a five-star whitetail right there. And I know earlier on I said we were doing a mule deer hunt, but... You know, I'm just... Feeling compelled to take that guy. <laughs> I couldn't tell you why. Obviously, because he's a five-star. Here we go. He should be smoked, like, 100%. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at him. He can't even run. <sighs> All right. Well, first time back on in a while, and we've got our five-star uh, animal down, boys. Let's go up here and find this some bitch. Okay. Well, there's our five-star. He's down right there. I don't want to go too much further that direction just because our mule deer right over here as well. So we'll go right up here and see if they didn't spook. I hope they didn't, but oh, they didn't. Here we go. We've got mule deer right here. Three star mature right there. Is that a different one? His face is white, so he's not going to get that much older. So what we might do is just take him right now. Why is our gun not pulling up? Here we go. Let's 
It's gotta be him, right? He should be smoked. Okay, we're gonna mark that. And let's go pick up our five star. Okay, well here's our five star. Let's take a look at him. 90%. So he's not gonna be huge and 465, I think. I'm gonna sell him and we'll go down here and pick up our muley. And then we'll go check our other drinking spot. Well damn, here he is. 69%. That was a great choice. Gosh dang. Any of you guys into baseball? Baseball just started back up again. I'm a Houston Astros fan myself. They just beat the Blue Jays today, 10-0. to Their uh, pitcher, Renel Blanco, in his first ever career start, threw a no-hitter tonight. That's pretty... I think he's the first ever pitcher to do that, if I'm not mistaken. That's an old buck. That's a four-star, but he ain't going to hit five. We've got another two-star mature right there. And, oh man, I'm trying to decide what do I want to take here. Obviously, we're going to leave the four-star alone. That three-star looks like he might not be very good as far as his genetics, but I guess we'll get in here and get a look at him through the scope. And if I think he's one to take, we'll definitely take him. Hey, Buck. Hey, Buck. Right here. Should be hammered. He was right there, I do believe. Go ahead and mark him and go track him down. See what he is. So, um, I mentioned I'd put in for the deer hunt earlier today. And there's no reason why I don't draw this year. I've got three points. I haven't drawn since 2018, given three of those years were um, when I was in Idaho and I didn't put in for the Utah drawing. But, um, nah, uh, I think I draw, and hopefully I get a decent buck. If not, you know, I'm going to definitely be looking to put some meat on the table and Definitely get some jerky in on it. I'll find out May 16th, I do believe. It'll be a mule deer hunt. There's a lot of big bucks where I'm at. And we will have to see what happens. I might put it on YouTube. Film it all. Day one to day however long it takes me to get a, a deer, so... Hopefully we get one. That'd be sick. Alright, let's find out about the truth on this here three-star mature. 72%. I will take that. He's a little bit uneven. But still a good buck. I'd shoot him in real life. Go ahead and sell him. We'll go check on some more herds. Oh, man, I think we take that two-star over that three-star. That three-star is still pretty brown. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now if our gun will come up. All right, let's do it. He should be hammered. And we'll go find him. See if that was the right call or not. You know what I'm saying? So we absolutely hit him hard. 60%. What a good choice to make right there. Man, that three-star mature was pretty brown. So if anything, he hits four-star. All right, so we've got ourselves another two-star mature out there. And given that he's in the grasslands, I'm thinking he's not going to be that great of genetics. 
So what we might do is just go ahead and take him right here. And we may just call it after this. Let's see if we can get him a headshot. Wait a minute, what's that guy right there? He just stepped out. Oh, another two-star mature. So we've got two of them. Now, which one do we want to take? Ooh, that's kind of a tough call. I'm going to go for the guy with the smaller... Tines. Because that buck right there has the same rack that I have a... <laughs> 500 scoring mule deer in, so... I don't necessarily want to just throw that away. He had a really brown face. The other guy that I just shot had a brown face too, but I don't know. I'm just willing to bet that this guy is not as high scoring as the other guy might be. Now this guy is looking pretty brown and he's kind of symmetrical, so I'm kind of worried about it, but we'll see if we ended up making the right choice. 85%, not a good choice, but the other two star mature was just as symmetrical. And he had those eye guards of my biggest buck that I've killed so far. And he's a 500 scoring mule deer. Um, yeah, I actually might head back to the lodge and explain what I'm talking about real quick. So we see this guy right here. And you see those eye guards, how tall they are. Yes, this guy is a 4x4 and the other guy was a 3x3. So in my head, I felt like I was making the right decision. Um, just because i seen them tall eye guards and how brown his face was. But, considering that the other guy was totally symmetrical, I don't quite know if we made the right choice. And there's no way to know until that other buck grows up. So we will see how that goes. Anyways, yeah, just wanted to pop in here and say hello to everyone. Just make sure y'all know I'm still alive and yeah. No, it was fun. Um, like I said in the intro, it's uh, it's been spring break, so I haven't been as busy. And I'm almost done with school, so as soon as I am, I plan to keep uploading. And one more little piece of information before I let you go, I had mentioned earlier on in the video that I had anticipated myself drawing a mule deer tag in the state of Utah. If you guys would like to see that, let me know down in the comments. I will film from day one all the way till I get a deer or until the season ends. But if I do not get that tag, I will be sure to let you know. In the meantime, yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to record my deer hunt in Utah. Assuming I get the tag, um, I will try to upload as much as I can, but I do appreciate all the love and support, and we'll catch you next time.